Yes, Shukla, yes. I mean, uh, the sense that I got from your talk today, because I've heard you before, mm. is that after a point, it seems that your work, in one sense, is only speaking back to Pushpa's critique of your work. I'm wondering whether there'll be a point when you move away from that. Yeah, you know, you're interesting that you said that because when uh, when I was preparing the presentation, I thought, well, maybe I'm dwelling a little too much on this. And unfortunately, because we were running out of time, I skipped a lot of things that would have bounced that a little bit. Um, I don't see that my work is focused on replying to Pushpamala's critique, you know, which is representative, number one, and it's just not her. Um, I think it was it it became enough of an issue for me that I wanted to respond to it, but I don't think it is the only thing that guides me in what I do. And you know, I keep saying, well, I have to be true to myself and what I want to do. And um, uh, you know, you can't do something because somebody else thinks you should do that. Um, and also, you can't become so focused on criticism that you're only being defensive and responding to the criticism all the time either. So, um, I think I'm trying to find a, a way that's balanced in some way. Um, yes? Um, there's a definite change in direction of your mood from when you were photographing um, purely uh, photographs to your collaborative work. There's a lot more humor that's coming in your collaborative work. Um, and it's left a kind of solemnity behind, which is there in your photographs. Even when you take, uh, when you play an artist like Andrew's works, I mean, she's you know pretty dark in even the, in all the ones that you've done, but you've injected humor. Um, do you think that's part of what um, the lady behind said? Is that a response, um, or just a completely different direction that you're well, I, working in? in that I see all of my work as basically autobiographical, even when I'm photographing other people. It's like when you go on a trip and you're taking pictures of your holiday, um, everything you take a photograph it ends up being a photograph of you in some ways. Um, and I think through the miniature paintings in particular, I mean, I, I think I present myself as sort of a comical character who's sort of, you know, the bumbling foreigner who gets into all sorts of stupid predicaments and doesn't understand things, which is generally true. Um, and I just, you know, I have to present where I'm at and um, how I'm feeling. So yeah, humor does enter into it. I think when I first came to India with the Raleflex and the Nikon and was doing those sepia shots, I was approaching it very seriously. I was, you know, I was making, you know, very serious art photographs, you know, that were going to be composed in just such a way and lit in such a way and blah, blah, blah. And I've somewhat lightened up in all of that. I mean, now it's just, it becomes more of a fun experience. Um, uh, I think Ganpat snuck out. I don't know, Ganpat's still here. He can tell you in the studio. I mean, sometimes I'm shouting at people and, you know, like a film director, you know, it's like, this isn't right, this isn't right, do this, do that. But um, in the end, we generally all have fun. And uh, many times the models, you know, inject all kinds of humor into things. And uh, we end up having chai together and looking at the photos we've taken and enjoying it immensely. So it becomes a much more fun kind of environment to, uh, to create work. And I, I never felt really that comfortable shooting on the street. It's strange. I, I, yeah, that's why I didn't do candidates. I'm not real comfortable shooting on the streets. I'm basically I'm a shy person, so it's difficult for me. More. Hello. Uh, just a comment. It's not a question. If you don't want to answer, okay. it's fine. No, it's like uh, uh, I remember in the early uh, 2000, Clemente also went through this same kind of question of power and using this kind of uh, uh, artisans in his work and of course the whole debate was how do you credit, how you don't credit and, and this 10 years we have actually, uh, the, the word collaboration also has solved many uh, things. I I'm basically personally have a lot of problem with the word collaboration in, in its own way okay. because it has a kind of power structure still. Uh, it's, it's also that whole kind, even of Arpana, it's just not Clemente, but Arpana Kaur, who had used Lado in, in, in 
her work again had the same kind of questioning in its own way and then in in, in a kind of very uh, <coughs> when we see her recently all the contemporary artists using and then giving a kind of credit and saying that it's a collaborative and it's my my kind of concept and it's uh, uh, like a director and but does the power structure change is my query you know it's it's my observation in 10 years we have solved it, we have accepted many things looking at divisions like it's an artist artisans who is giving credit what is credit who is signing everything is all fine but conceptually right does the power structure change is in the films when when we see a director of course it's a director's film we always say that but we cannot give the cinematographers you know concept right a credit to the to the director because it is a cinematographer there are sections in a visual art section we have not divided that nor we have seen it in in its own way today i wouldn't know it is rajesh's work or rakesh's work i would only know it's vasavo's work right in right. as a direct it the power structure still i feel in the collaborate when when the word collaborate we all think that is we have solved many things by giving these things but i personally feel still there is a kind of uh, power structure right and some some of it goes i agree with you in a lot of respects and some of it goes beyond your control i mean when i've had exhibitions and i talk to the media i'm always very good i always say you know this is done with rajesh soni he is the hand colorist blah 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 um with the miniatures i always say these miniatures are done by waswell x waswell with rvj um but so many times when they show up in print it's just waswell x waswell as well as well or just waswell you know so uh, you know it sort of goes beyond your control sometimes no, but also sometimes at, at, uh, i'm sorry if i'm misquoting or i have sure. uh, uh, heard wrongly <clears throat> but at one point even when you're showing one of the work you just and he said oh he had his own interpretation but she was photographing people and she was she made a big point that she allowed them to decide you know how they wanted to represent themselves and she allowed them to decide which photograph would be the final photograph to exhibit and it was like art by committee and i i just don't think art can really be made by committee i mean i think art still comes from the heart and there are three hearts up here you know and what i have to say is not necessarily what rajesh has to say and it's not necessarily what rakesh has to say on some things we can come together and find some mutual agreement of things that we like to do together and i think i can speak honestly i think rakesh enjoys working with me and i think rajesh does too um yes i do i you know i claim final credit you know yes it's a waswax waswell production but that doesn't mean that i should not acknowledge the fact that i have two strong strong partners i could not be doing these hand colored photographs if it wasn't for rajesh and i could not be doing miniature paintings if it wasn't for rakesh so you know to not give them credit would just seem horrible to me i mean of course i have to and i want to so does that answer it all or no yeah because i i just don't know because you've been always using that word collaborate will a film be a collaborative project yeah well i don't know what other word to use i mean otherwise then i'm just out there as waswell x waswell um and acknowledging what assistance no doesn't sound right to me they're more than assistance you know i think we're so, supposed to call and tag all like that but <laughs> equal right the relationship yeah yeah now we need the possibility of the collaboration thing turning into a collective and how how but open but i'm talking about the power structure is yeah. like whatever tnt we don't want to bring but that is a equal power but it's difficult and those skill from yeah. one person and concept from the other so it's 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 uh, you know it's not a collaboration of each one skill but it's concept and skill there's one for the concept but i can see the skill collaboration not the concept sorry i can see a collaboration of the skill yes. not a col- collaboration yes, there's of no con- collaboration of concept okay. right. that is where i have a you know problem of using yeah. the word collaboration mm-hmm. or a collective or what it is you know right. 
Well, well it, it, okay, I to talk about collaboration of concept. We have had times when that has actually happened. Um, I can go back to, um, uh, let me find one of these photographs here. This one. This is Rajesh's mother and father, a local photographer, and his wife. When I was shooting this, my ideal was to have his father taking a picture of me. I said, I want to take a picture of him, and he will be taking a picture of me. It was actually my rickshaw walla, Tara, who doesn't get much credit for anything, who said to me, no, Chacha, you have it all wrong. He should be taking a picture of his wife. And when Tara said that, it was like, yeah. You're right, you know, it clicked. Now, you know, maybe if I took enough photographs, it eventually would have dawned on me myself that I was approaching it wrong. But, you know, yes, it was Tara's input that changed that. And, I mean, I think there have been many examples where, you know, either somebody in the studio or the uh, model. Just recently, Rajesh, I, I don't have the photo, but Rajesh said, well, you should bring Radisham, the Hedra, down. And we know somebody who's a bangle wally, and he said, bring the bangle wally and have uh, Radisham trying on bangles, you know. And I liked the idea, it just clicked with me. You know, and I said, okay, let's do that, I think that's good. And uh, so, yeah, input from Rajesh Sony on that, the hand colorist, but not input on every photograph. So, do you, under, you understand what I'm saying? Um, um, I don't know. And then, and then, you know, if you're going to be really ethical, then are you going to somehow credit each photograph differently? Um, I don't know what the answers really are. I think you've got the right balance. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so anything else, or are, are we finished? It's 8.30, I think that's when we're all turned. I'm really a little sorry that I dwelled so much on the sepia work because that wasn't my intent. I just thought that it would go a little faster than it did. And I was really worried I would run out of uh, things to say before the uh, time was up. So anyway, any other questions or no? Any other photo color artists have you come across so far? You being into it. Photo color artists? Uh, you mean in India or world? In India. In India. In India. Uh, the first man that I met was actually in Jodhpur and he was quite old and he was painting uh, with oil paints on uh, silver gelatin prints and uh, they were quite wonderful and uh, the, my first idea was to do a series of portraits and print them in silver gelatin back when I still had a dark room in the US and then take them to this man in Jodhpur and have him paint them you know that was one of ideas that never materialized partially because he was too old and he was basically retiring as, as so many people are now around the world, a lot of people are hand coloring photographs. I'm certainly, you know, we are not certainly the only ones. So, like this. Anything else? Yes. I think, uh, like Madhulika said, see, after five years of working together, there may be a synchronization happening. Uh, by that, they, there is a possibility they're growing apart, separately. So, how much you support them to grow separately, uh, doing their own? Uh, work, either photography or miniature? Well, I think it's going to happen with Rajesh. I mean, he is he has his own camera. He loves to take pictures. Um, I think he's going to go off on his own one of these days. He has, yeah, he has the talent. I have no contracts with these guys. I mean, I, you know, this is all totally faith and trust. So we are free to do whatever we want. Yeah. And uh, he did not ask us, like, any kind of contract or anything. It's like we decided that we like to work with him, and that's what we are doing. And I do always like my own things also, and I show to him, and he always like them, and he give me the, like, he just then he said that good or bad, because he has more knowledge that I know, and I like to learn from him. Okay. I always tell him that when I move on, I, I don't see myself living in India until I die, and, you know, right now it seems like I might be shifting to Thailand in the near future. And uh, I always say when I leave, you know, feel free to continue with this, you know, in some way. You know, I don't have a monopoly on it. Um, and Rakesh too, I mean, I hope that he starts coming up with some of his own ideas that are strong and, and paints them and, and wants to put them out there. So, like this, but of course I'm happy with them working with me because they've been a big help to me also. So.
We like your work, so. <laughs> Thank you, boys. So, so shall we wrap it up? Okay, thank you.